My name is Laura Moser and I am running for Congress in Texas's 7th Congressional District. I'm Lizzie Panel Fletcher and I'm running for the House of Representatives, Texas Congressional District 7. I am the only person in this race who's already made change in Washington. I've been representing Houstonians from all walks of life for more than a decade as a lawyer. To win the district and to win the state, you absolutely need to bring new voters into the process, and I believe I'm the only one who has done that and can do that. I have built a strong coalition of supporters here in Houston. We don't differ on that many issues, but we do differ in how we present ourselves. I will be an effective advocate in Congress because that is what I've been doing almost all of my life. We need a fighter in this district. We need to pry this district out of the hands of John Culberson. There is um, a really dangerous schism in the Democratic Party right now between two types of Democrats, between the sort of insurgent populists and the more centrist moderates. Hillary Clinton won this district by a point and a half in 2016. And it's the same district where Mitt Romney beat Barack Obama by nearly 20 points. The old method of trying to get Republicans to cross over by being super moderate and super inoffensive does not work. The only way we will win is to get more people to show up. For us, that means talking to every single voter, no matter how they voted in the past. I'm trying to activate that new base and ride the new wave of, you know, ride that blue wave. Someone pulled me aside and said the DCCC has released um, opposition research on you. We certainly were aware that um, there was some action happening and some comments um, that came out. I am an unprecedented, you know, scapegoat for something. I think that that is a process story that a lot of people are, are interested in, but it's not what the voters are focused on. It energized a lot of my supporters and a lot of people who are tired of business as usual in Washington. So I think that everyone was working to get their names out. And of Washington people who have not played in this district, who have not come to Texas in a generation telling them what to do. That happened around the same time that people were putting out their paid media, putting commercials on TV. So I don't really know the effect. I think that they are trying to nominate one type of Democrat. And I believe that those Democrats have consistently failed to bring it home. I decided to run for this office after the 2016 election results. I felt um, horrified and then got mobilized. Donald Trump really represents a huge step backwards for women. For me, it really was the Access Hollywood tape. We feel like our voices aren't being heard. We vote for different things. Whether it is continuing to have a, a wage gap, whether it's access to health care. Mothers are the ones who fight for paid sick leave. Contraception care. Children's health insurance. Those are things that matter to women. I didn't unionize the campaign, they unionized themselves. Well, I think that we offer our employees the same benefits. I haven't looked closely at what they've done. I definitely encouraged it. We offer paid sick days, we offer health uh, healthcare stipend, we offer competitive salary. I believe in you know the right for working Americans to live a decent wage. I am certainly not anti-union, I'm not anti-labor, and in fact, um, a large part of my law practice is representing employees. As a person who went back to work when my youngest child was nine days old, I don't think that that's the country we should be living in. We're certainly open to it if, if that were to come up. If you go through this district and you see where they cut the lines, I've written a lot about gerrymandering. No Democrat has ever actually held the office here because the seat um, was drawn in the redistricting in the 60s. Would you be game to draw the district? I could try. Well, I'm not very good at drawing. I have little kids and I draw things with them and they both surpassed me in doodling ability. It kind of comes back in. Did you white out? I wish my daughter could do it. Anyway, I tried to draw the, um, the road here. Oh. Highway. No. We got 290 and I-10, 610 loop. This part is... What happens when you get overachievers trying to draw?